Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to part 39 of the Not So Bailey Challenge. So, Topaz has now received a promotion to flight officer. I just figured I'd pick up whenever she was done work. Um, so she's not doing all too bad, in all honesty. We're just gonna kind of wait for her to come on home. And, oh, I also need to show you guys a new house. So this right here, this is Honeybrook, if you guys have not seen that speed build. It was a house that I built, um... So, on the inside, it obviously wasn't all yellow when I first originally built it. But, so, this is our house. It's all very yellow. But, uh, so, over here, whenever you first walk in the door, there's a little room. I'm going to turn on these lights. But, there's a little room off to the right-hand side, which is now just being used as, like, a personal home gym kind of thing right here. And then, there's nothing really in the foyer. Uh, we have the living room part over here. The dining room and the kitchen, which is all yellow, and then a bathroom, laundry room kind of combination sort of thing. And then upstairs, we have two bathrooms over here. We have Topaz's bedroom. We have the computer in the hallway. And then this is just an extra spare bedroom, which is currently gray for the next generation. And then we have the bookshelf. But, uh, so yeah, that's our little house if you guys want to, oh, and then we have, like, the dog bed and stuff like that. But if you guys want to download this house, I do have it up for download. It's in my Speed Builds playlist. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Buttercup grab something to eat. And wait for Topaz to come on home. So maybe actually I'll skip until she is home just so that there's actually something going on. And we're not just kind of sitting around waiting. And, uh, yeah. So, we are back, and she is now home. Uh, she is going to go ahead and actually do some laundry, because that needs to be done today. And it's really nothing all too exciting, but I just, I figured we'd just pick up just to kind of, I don't know, but I think her work outfit's kind of cute. I wish she didn't have to, like, change her hair for the hats. I wish the hats could, like, come as accessories. But, uh, sadly that isn't a thing, and my game is lagging, so I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully I'll have that fixed whenever I'm done, like, bulk filming. But, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll, don't know, I'll try and figure something out. But yeah, so she's just going around to go ahead and do the laundry. And I'm, like, I don't know. I'm missing this family, but at the same time, like, I'm bored because it's only her. And not, like, somebody else to play with. And because I'm, like, already so far ahead on her generation, I'm just, I'm kind of bored. But, okay, so I know this isn't any fun to watch, so I'm going to go ahead and skip until there's something interesting once again. So we are back, and we are at the diner with Mr. Harrison over here. Um, if you, I think I've introduced you guys to him. I'm pretty sure that I have. So this is Harrison over here. Uh, I don't remember his last name. But, uh... I just figured I would have them come out. They are good friends. And she did want to invite him over, but I figured we could go out, grab something to eat. Uh, she is actually attracted to him, so that's always a little bit of a bonus. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We're just kind of going to let them talk. I just figured I'd pick up while they were here, just so you guys can see, like, they are hanging out. And that I'm, like, trying to make progress, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am kind of wanting a Harrison and... Uh, topaz to be like a little bit of a thing but I'm gonna go ahead and let them grab something to eat together um see if that can like bring up the friendship level any because like I do want them to like get to know each other and like be decent friends before like actually dating because I feel like that is something that you need to have is like a decent friendship but then again that's just me and I haven't officially dated anybody in like Six shoes, something like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, apparently she's changing. I have no idea what into because she's in her every day. Oh, okay. So she's going to go out and have, I guess technically it's kind of like an early, late lunch, early dinner situation in her athletic wear. Because, you know, how else would you want to go out looking like I had just, like she had just worked out? I can't speak today, and I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, so as you can see, we are still dealing with the lag, which is, like, super annoying. And I am very sorry about that. And I do want to try and fix it, so maybe I'll reset the town when I'm done filming today. Because, like, I don't know. Alright, so we had just finished our, uh... 
I guess technically by now it could be dinner. And we are just kind of waiting for Harrison to come out so that these two can go ahead and chat for a bit. Uh, she wants to go ahead and swing, which I'm not going to do. But uh, we can come over here and we can ask him to be our roommate, but that's not really what I want to do yet. Uh, I think maybe we'll go ahead and just be like, oh, and just so you know, I got a promotion. Um, I don't know. Because I want to kind of see if he's like an ambitious sim. So I think that's one of the ways that you can like figure out his traits, but I really don't remember. Oh, all he's thinking about is money. And then I do have the passion and romance mod in my game. So maybe we'll go ahead and do a little bit of an intimate hug. I don't know what the difference is of an intimate hug and a amorous hug. But I know that the interactions are going to look a little bit weird, as you can see. Because they don't actually, like, it's not like a genuated thing. I don't know. And I don't know if this actually does anything for, like, the relationship. So, like, I don't know. Because this is actually the first time that I have used it. Um... Yeah. So, we're just going to kind of wait and see. Okay, so apparently now they're on a date. Um, so I guess that does actually bring up the romantic stuff. But uh, we could go ahead and do the first kiss, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that quite yet. I think we're going to go ahead and compliment his appearance first. I think that might be a little bit of a better option. And I don't know if I'm as loud as I normally am, which I'm just trying to be like a little bit quiet. It's a Friday night. Uh, that I'm filming this, and, like, I'm home by myself for a little bit, but, like, I'm still trying to be, like, really quiet, because I'm kind of, like, just wanting to hang out and chill. I'm not really in, like, the, I'm gonna be ecstatic about doing videos, and, like, super excited. Like, I am happy to be doing my videos, but I'm not gonna be, like, because I haven't had coffee, if I'm honest. I haven't had coffee today, and normally, like, I'll drink coffee before I film. But, uh, so we are now up to being very alluring. So we might just go ahead and do the first kiss. I think that could be kind of cute. Uh, I'm going to pause this really quick. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Like, look at the way that he looks at her. And I love his freckles. I think they're the cutest. All right. So I am, like, taking pictures because, you know, I'm going to need it for the end of the screenshots. Okay. So all I need to go. I have to go to work soon. Really? You're leaving right after she kissed you? That's not very really nice. Um, so I'm like sitting in a different area of my house than I normally do. And like this area is like very quiet. So I can hear like the people that live next door to me. I can hear them through like the walls. And then I can like hear other people outside. So like if I get distracted, I'm sorry because like I'm not used to this. But, uh, so she wants to watch a movie, she wants to have a great date, which, I mean, we would have if he didn't have to apparently leave. But I'm going to send Topaz on home, uh, have a good group outing, we don't need to do that either. Oh, was that her first kiss? Oh, that's kind of cute. For some reason, I thought she had kissed that, uh, guy from prom. Which might have been a good thing she didn't, because now they're, like, step-siblings. But, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and head on home with Miss Topaz. And, I don't know if maybe I should go ahead and skip. Okay, I'm gonna skip, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are now back, and it is actually 7.03 on Saturday morning. Um, I had her, she was up at like 5.30, but I just figured we'd pick up when it was a little bit later, just to kind of let her get herself, uh, kind of ready for the day. Uh, she's currently eating some mac and cheese for breakfast, which I, if I'm honest, don't remember the last time I ate mac and cheese. But, uh, maybe I'll make that for dinner. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, so we're just gonna kinda hang out with Topaz, kinda do some skill building today. I don't really know what else, because I don't really have a whole lot to work on for her. Uh, we have her mastering her skills, and then we have her, like, aspiration and her career. Which we can't really do anything clear based if she's not working. So like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But she's going to go ahead and clean up her dish. And then she's in actually a pretty good mood. Her fun could use a little bit of help. But I'm not all too worried about it. Uh, maybe we'll actually... I don't know. 
Um, I want to see if there's like anything that we could like upgrade just to kind of work on her handiness skill. But I don't know if it actually is. Uh, we could do the sink. And then I think we can also upgrade one of these. Yes. So we could also do that. So maybe we'll have her come over here and upgrade stuff in the laundry room. She's complaining about the sound of the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, so I know watching her upgrade things isn't going to be much fun. Even if it is a, technically a part of this challenge. But like, you guys know what the upgrading things looks like. So I know he'll upgrade this and then I'll go ahead and skip and we'll be right back. I'm sorry for all the skipping. Oh. Okay, apparently we're going head in. Like, literally. Her head, her body, like everything is just inside. Um, okay. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and skip and we will be right back. So we are back and it is a little bit later. She's actually over here with a little buttercup. Uh, I just figured we could give her just a little bit of attention. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually her birthday in this part. I don't remember if that popped up this morning. But uh, we are still experiencing just a little bit of lag, which is never a fun time. But uh, we're going to find a way just to make it work just for a little while longer. Um... And then I'm just going to take this over here and put it in the garbage. Apparently this is Topaz's first time picking a buttercup, but I find that hard to believe. I don't actually think it is, but I mean it could be. But uh, we are going to actually give her a bath. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of something she needs. She's a little bit like stinky. So I just figured we'd go ahead and give her a bath and just kind of keep on top of things. Alright, so I went ahead and skipped because I just, I don't know. Uh, so we are now back a little bit later on, and I'm actually going to try and invite Harrison over. I have a little bit of a plan up my sleeve. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make it work, but we can definitely try. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But here comes a little buttercup into the kitchen. I don't really know what she's doing, but she's here. And uh, not actually needing anything for her mood. But I think I'm going to have her come over here just to chew up this toy a little bit just because her destruction is like a little bit low. Like it's not really bad, it's just lower than I typically would like. But uh, no big deal. Uh, okay, so Harrison's actually going to come on over, which is great. And then I'm probably going to get her changed because I feel like it might look a little bit weird if she's like in her bathing suit and he's coming over. I just, I don't know, something about that seems like really weird to me. But uh, we are, once again, doing a little bit of lag, which is never a fun time. But uh, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and change her into her everyday wear because it's probably one of my favorite outfits. Because you guys know, like, I don't put my sims in skirts very often. So the fact that she's in one is, like, surprising. But uh, he should be here pretty soon. His house is actually right next door to this one. So it shouldn't take all too long. It was on like an empty lot. And I was like, okay, well this one house fits here. So it works. But yeah, he should be here soon. Yeah, as I said. He should be here soon. Which he is now here, which is great. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come on over here too. So she's just going to come over here and we'll invite him inside. Uh, just to kind of see if maybe we can. Because I do want them to become... Uh, boyfriend and girlfriend and I'm also kind of wanting him to move in but I don't know if that'll happen in this part if that's a little bit too fast uh, we'll have to wait and see but uh, apparently we're not actually going to invite him inside so that's a little bit strange I don't really know why that canceled out but um, okay so she wants to watch a movie and have a great date which I'll try and lock this one in and hopefully we can make it happen we'll have to wait and see but uh We'll come over here and ask him to break up with Jeannie because, you know, there's another girl trying to steal our man and we're not going to have it. But, um, yeah. So she's going to go ahead and do that and then maybe we'll do the boyfriend and girlfriend thing in the next part. Just so that story progression doesn't try and get him with somebody else because if you guys have story progression in your game from Unlost, it can definitely do that. Um, so hopefully this goes over well. 
I mean, I know that she's going to make, be making an enemy in Genie, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But, like, even right now, he thinks that Topaz is being very alluring. So, you never know, you never know. But I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this part up here, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you guys want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit the bell. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.